Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a dramatic date night makeup look, so let's jump into the makeup tutorial. I'm starting off by using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot to just prime my eyelids. And I did skip over this part um, because I lost the clip, but now I'm just setting it with e a lighter shade from the Pixi Content. For my eyes, I'm starting off with the Tarte Pro Palette in the shade Bold. And I'm just taking that color in my crease and using a fluffy brush to just blend it out. And this is going to be our transition color, so it's really going to help blend all these shades together. Then I'm taking the shade Whimsy, which is more of like a red tone brown. And I'm also putting that into my crease just to warm up this look a little more. Then I'm taking the shade Mod, which is such a beautiful like pinky purpley color and I'm adding that also into my crease and this is just going to intensify the warmness in this look. This is my favorite color in the entire palette and it kind of gives like a red tone to the eye look. I'm taking the shade Vamp, which is a deep purple color and I am just blending that into my outer V. I had a lot of trouble with this shade. I don't know why, but every time I would add more color on and blend it out, it would just take the product away. It wouldn't add more on, so I don't really know what it was, but I didn't really like this shade, and it kind of didn't give me the look that I was looking for, so I had to go and add a different shade in, which you will see very shortly. Just blending all those colors together because we always want to blend the shades together to make them look very flawless. Like I said, I hated that purple, so I had to go into my MAC palette and add the color Sketch onto my outer V. Next, I'm using the Touch and Soul Liquid Foil Glitter, and this is in the shade Burgundy. And I'm just starting off with the liquid foil, and I'm blending that out, and then I'm adding the glitter on top of it. So moving on to our face, I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime Oil, and this is in Grapefruit. My skin has been so dry lately, it's crazy. And then I'm using my favorite primer, which is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, um, and I'm just putting that all over my face. If I don't prime my face, it will become very, very irritated. And just to prime under my eyes, this is just an extra step that I do. I'm using the Smashbox Under Eye Primer. For foundation, I'm using the Tarte Empowered Gel Foundation. Um, this is new and I was trying it out. Um, this is in the shade Medium Tan Honey and as you can see, it's way too light for me. I need to stop ordering foundations online. Um, so I had to go in and kind of just darken it up with a different foundation. And this is one of the Becca foundations. I can't remember the name, but it's more like a luminous foundation. And it's in the shade, I think, Golden Honey. I'll link everything down below so you guys know for sure. And I put way too much of this foundation out. Like I said, I was trying it out for the first time, so I didn't really know how much coverage it would give, but I put way too much out on, so it took me a little bit longer to kind of blend that out and just um, add that darker shade in to make everything look a little flawless. But this is clearly way too light for me. I do want to try the foundation in a darker shade, so hopefully I can exchange that. To contour, I'm just cream contouring using the Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation Stick in the shade Mink. Using one of the Moda, I think that's how you say it, Moda 
Prismatics face brushes. These are so beautiful and they actually feel really good to blend out your makeup. So I'm just using this as a first step to blend the makeup out, but then of course I'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender to really uh, perfect that contour. And of course, I'm using everyone's Holy Grail Concealer, which is the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Tan. Uh, this shade works out for me, but I do want to get something a little lighter. But thank God it's not lighter, otherwise I would have looked like a ghost with this concealer on. And I'm using the Real Techniques. Um, I think it's like a mini beauty sponge. It's literally amazing. If you guys ever tried the Beauty Blender Minis, oh my God, throw that away because this will literally replace that. It's so much bigger, easier to use, and it's only $6. Now I'm using the Kat Von D Beauty Powder in the shade Golden to set under my eyes. And this was my first time trying it out. I do like it. It is very thin and it just gives like a very highlighted look. But the only thing is if you leave this on too long, it will give you a white cast. I took a picture and I saw the white cast and I was so mad because I'm just like, I guess I'm going to go back to my Laura Mercier powder but I guess it could just be the fact that I left it on a little too long so just be a little cautious when you're using this product to set my face I'm using my favorite foundation powder which is the MAC studio fix foundation powder in NC42 and that's gonna give me a little more color in my face and moving on to our brows I'm using the benefit brow cream in the shade number five and let me know if you want to see an eyebrow routine because I can definitely put that up for you guys I do really like this product it's so easy to use as you can see it kind of just glides on and does the work for you but be careful with it because you can get a little heavy-handed and make your eyebrows look very intense And to set my brows, I'm just using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. And I think this is in the shade Brunette. I'm not really sure. And going back into that Pixie um, Strobe and Sculpt Palette, I'm using that first deep shade. And I'm just getting a stippling brush and kind of bronzing up my face with that shade. Then I'm taking the deeper shade and kind of just chisel, chiseling out my cheekbones even more. For blush, I'm using my favorite blush of all time. This is the Becca Flower Child blush and it's very pinky and glittery Ugh, it's pinky and it has a little shimmer in it and it's just the most beautiful blush especially on tan skin and to highlight my inner corners of course I'm using MAC nylon for my lashes I'm gonna be using the Ilore um, times Annie Lee so lovely and these are from the blogger series these are a little more on the natural, dramatic side. They are pretty long, but still very wispy so that you can wear them every day. I love the way they look and they were pretty easy to put on. And now I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder to just kind of uh, chisel out my, my nose. And for eyeliner, I'm using the Marc Jacob Highliner Gel. Matte liner in the shade Fine. This is like a wine shade, and I'm just putting that into my waterline. I wanted uh, the burgundy to pop, and so I'm going back into that Tarte palette and using the shade Whimsy to just smoke out my bottom lash. And this is gonna bring more attention to the bottom lash and that uh, red that we have in our waterline.
Now to highlight, I'm using the Makeup Geek Kathleen Lights um, Highlighter Palette, and this is the shade Stardust. It's a pinky tone, and I'm just putting that all over my face. Then I'm using this uh, primer water to just um, let that, to let all the products sit into my face, and then I'm blending it out. Now I'm just lining my lips, and I'm gonna list this down below. I know it's a NYX lip liner, but I don't know the shade. It's one of their new matte lip liners. And I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dusty Rolled Liquid Lipstick, which is such a beautiful color. I've been obsessed with it lately. And if you ever mess up on your lips, just get a small detail brush and some concealer, and you can just clean that up very easily. So that is the end of our makeup tutorial and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Please comment down below and suggest any videos that you'd like to see. See you next time.